Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I want to talk about Planescape uh, Adventures in the Multiverse, um, and we're going to talk about Sigil. I- I'm sorry, we're going to talk about, yeah, we're going to talk about Sigil. Sigil. <laughs> yeah. Sigil. We're going to talk about Sigil. All right, so, um, no, Sigil. We're going to talk about Hard G, man. This is Scott Garibay, right? Like, <laughs> Sigil, all right? All right, so we're going to talk about uh, Sigil, the city, uh, the primary city in uh, Planescape um, Adventures in the Multiverse. Um, but f- before we get into it, I have an apology and a confession for you. So first of all, I'm sorry you have not received the normal amount of epic, incredibly accurate, uh, peerless coverage of the brand new D&D Canon hardback that just dropped that you would ne- normally get from me. And now I, I'm sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to fix that, right? Starting with this video, give you more content. But now let me confess to you why that hasn't happened. Fear. I was afraid of Planescape uh, Adventures in Multiverse. So um, I started. Re- I got um, you know early access, of course, and I began reading it on um, uh, D and D Beyond. And I was frightened the moment I began reading it because I was because the reality is. Um, every Dungeons and Dragons book that has ever been, that has ever come out, right? I have felt uh, that, that I've done coverage for you for here. I felt very comfortable, right? I, I know exactly what, you know, I know what Faerun is. I know what Greyhawk is. In fact, I probably know more than, know about, know more about this setting than the people who actually did the design work, right? Like, I don't, you know, none of this scares me. Planescape ain't that, ain't, I'm like, what is this? All right, like, so first of all, um, I learned quite a bit about Planescape when it came out in the 90s, and I was like, what? Like, it was, it's so voluminous, and it has so little boundaries and borders of both capability, magic, and geography, that it just is hard to even grasp. It is the most expansive, explosive setting in all of Dungeons & Dragons. And, and that's frightening, right? And so I was like, I don't really know how to approach this, right? Uh, but the reality is the only way to approach something that you're afraid of is dive right in, right? You black diamond, you go over the hill and you get your skis rolling and maybe you hit a tree, maybe you go off a cliff, but you, you get skiing, right? And so that's where we are right now, right? We, we about to do some skiing, let's ski, all right? So here we go, over the cliff, all right. Um, Sigil, all right? So first of all, Sigil is, Sigil is, uh, Sigil, where is Sigil? Actually, this is the only thing we're going to talk about in this video video about Sigil, because it's such a huge fact, right? Sigil is the center of the Great Wheel. And the Great, the Great what now? The Great Wheel, right? That is one page in your PHB that says, hey, here's the material plane. That's the center of the Great Wheel, Oh, hey, there's the astral plane. Uh, there's the outer planes, um, and you know, here's the nine hells, and and here's astral space. Yeah, you know, yeah, exactly. The, the place that 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 was subdivided by Spelljammer and went into great detail on it, right? Like, and and this thing has no less than twenty entries. The Great Wheel sits in the 2014 PHB. It's right there, right, and it's near the end. And you're also like why is this in the PHB, right? And they're like, because every player needs to know you are on Faerun right now, right? You are in the Forgotten Realms, but while this realm is forgotten here, there's 20 other worlds, right, on the Great Wheel, and there's many worlds beyond the Great Wheel. Like every Lego world. (laughs) Like Warhammer for 40K. Maybe loader. <laughs> yeah, whisper, 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 right? You know, anything connected to MTG. Anything connected to Fortnite. Right? Like it, and so it's it's astounding. Like, it is absolutely incredible, right? And so you, you have all this happening, right? But the reality is, on top of all of the things I just said, you know, on top of being the center, the center of the great wheel, Right? You have this situation where, um, so you, it is the center of the great wheel, 
But in addition, uh, and the Great Wheel is this massive thing, right? And Sigil, the city of Sigil, is at the center of material plane, right? But more than that, the center of the entire Dungeons and Dragons cosmology. And that is huge. The ramifications of that are massive, right? And they're going to take 10, 20, 30 years for you to play it out, right? Across multiple campaigns, right? And this is simply the door, right? Every single word of that is my humble opinion. What's important is what I can hear your humble opinion when you get in the comments and send your traffic. Please consider like subscribing and may God be with you and yours.